executive producers of Mountaintop Removal, a revealing look at the irreversible cost of coal mining. Marsh Fork Elementary is a very, very scary situation. They have 2.8 billion gallons of coal slurry, which is, it's toxic. It's toxic material. It has arsenic, lead, lime, mercury, chromium. There's a lot of really, really bad chemicals in this sludge. Sitting behind this elementary school, 400 yards up on top of a mountain. From the mountaintops to deep underground, flow for the love of water hammers home frightening realities about our most precious resource. People have the view that water is provided free from the heavens, from God. So why must you pay for water? But if you're going to receive water in a sustained way through pipes and taps, that there's a lot of money that has to go into that provision. We are quite sympathetic to the fact that you have to run this city and you need money. But are you going to try and get this money out of people who cannot pay you at all? You'll be amazed at what you don't know about the politics of potable water and what's in that bottle with the pretty label. Johnny Road to Life, take one. Hi, right, my name is Johnny Tzar. My friends call me Johnny Rock. 1,200. This is my collection. Bunnyland. This is the documentary this year destined to become a cult classic, at least for me. I was down in Pigeon Forge and I saw this little golf course was closed down. It was owned by Ray Grantham. The greatest screenwriters of all time could never have dreamed up what really happened in Sevierville, Tennessee. So I says, hey, Ray, how about if I uh, take over your golf course out here and we do some kind of split or something on the money? He said, okay. And he just kept grinning because he was a big grinner. Every time he looked at Ray, he had that dumb look at him. We called it Bunny Golf. I am the president of the Sevier County Humane Society. I guess we really didn't pay much attention to it until we got a call that uh, multiple rabbits had been killed. I go, what do you mean people got in there and killed the rabbits? They said somebody, well, it's in the paper. It says, maniac with ball bat slaughters bunnies at bunny golf. And I thought, well, dogs killed them, obviously, because I had nothing but dog problems all the while I was there. No. No. Because s some of them, they were bludgeoned. Some were bludgeoned with a blunt instrument. I guess it was two weeks later, we repurchased again and the next day the same thing happened. All of them were killed and mutilated. From hopping bunnies to skipping rope, Jump is a documentary for the whole family. You won't believe what they're doing with jump ropes these days. From lightning speed to unimaginable tricks. The tricks and tumbles of the Mexican wrestling ring come alive in Que Viva La Lucha. You'll learn why they wear masks. La máscara te da seguridad, te da magnetismo, te da fuerzas. And why some wear skirts. Coming up, a kid's chance meeting with John Lennon becomes an adventure in animation. Animation has come a long way in a short time. This year's festival picks run the gamut from silly to serious to visually spectacular. 
Back in 1969, while he was still with the Beatles, John Lennon allowed a young fan to meet with him and tape record their interview. Almost 40 years later comes the Oscar-nominated animation, I Met the Walrus. Uh, John, could you please tell us uh, what the situation is with you and um, when you're entering the United States? Uh, a lot of people don't want me in, you know, they think I'm going to cause a violent revolution, which I'm not. And the, the others don't want me in because they don't want me to cause peace either, you know, because peace is big. Uh, war is big business, you know, and they like war because it keeps them fat and happy. From Argentina comes a playful poke at religion and other ideas not quite black and white. And loads of awards have come to the students who produced Milk Teeth at Britain's National Film and Television School. A young boy follows his sister into a field where she sneaks out to see her boyfriend. Well, that's all the time we have, and trust me, we have only scratched the surface. But you have a whole week to discover the Nashville Film Festival. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the popcorn line.